Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Rugby Wrap-Up. Thank you for joining us again for Martial Law, the turning point in each Major League Rugby match with Iona rugby legend and alumni Colby Marshall. Colby, just take it away. Happy to take it away, Matt. I'm going to start off with my match of the week, Utah versus San Diego. You know, Utah, they were able to come all the way back from a 17-point deficit in this game in the second half. You know, with the ball up by 17 with 19 minutes to go, fullback Gonzalez Iglesias tried to chip kick over Utah's defense, and he was punished for it. Minka Cruze gathered the kick, so he immediately broke San Diego's defensive line, made a nice little run, and found Mikey Teo, who was in support, and got rewarded with the try that put the Warriors right back in the game, a game they would go on to win in dramatic fashion, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I should never have doubted Sean Pittman's Warriors. I apologize, Sean. You guys, unbelievable comeback. Unbelievable comeback. Next. Yeah, next game, LA versus Houston. So I want you to pay very close attention to the turning point in this game. As you can see, LA kicks the ball off to start the game. That right there is my (laughs) turning point to start the game. Okay. But in all seriousness, from the jump, L.A. was able to get right on top of Houston from the very first hit. And, you know, that hit right there pretty much summed up the uh, summed up the game. And, you know, also what I want to point out is when L.A. was up 19 to 0 late in the first half, uh, they had a really nice try that also kind of summed up how the game went. Harrison Goddard received a switch pass out in open play, feeds the ball out to DTH out wide. DTH goes back inside to Glenn Bryce, uh, who was in support. And Glenn Bryce makes a nice 40-meter run downfield to score a try that ultimately put the game to bed. Yeah, Glenn Bryce is a great player, and they've been missing him for a while with that injury that he sustained playing in New York, actually. I think it was a lower – I think it might have been an ankle injury. But he's a great player, and that no-look kind of pass back inside from DTH was just – that should be illegal. That whole team should be illegal, Matt. The next game, New York versus Rugby ATL, the battle of the beast of the East, battle between the two top teams in the Eastern Conference. This game saw Rooney take an early lead, but Rugby ATL kept their way in it. They kept battling back. And then eventually New York was able to get a little bit of breathing room when James Rockford intercepted a pass as ATL were playing with the ball deep in their own territory. That try right there put New York up by 14 points. It was a game they wanted to win, a big game for New York, big win. It's always great when a guy like James Rochford gets to score his first try of the year, picking it off and taking it in for an automatic seven. He works hard. He deserves it. Great try. Next. Next game, Austin versus Toronto. You know, Dom Aquino really took the game over against the Toronto Arrows for the Austin Yogronis. His first of two tries is my turning point. You know, there were seconds left in the first half when Aquino used this quickness to break the line, leaped into the try zone for what would be a big seven points for Austin. Is it leaped or leapt? It is leaped. Okay. All right. You're the, you're the more recent college grad, so I'll give it to you. Next one. Nola versus Old Glory DC. You know, the turning point for me in this game was right at the end of the first half when Old Glory had a penalty advantage in Nola territory. And after several phase play and some promising looks at the try zone, they couldn't get any points past Nola as the gold made a huge defensive stand. Uh, momentum that they carried right into the second half when they pretty much dominated the rest of the game. Yeah, Nola did what they had to do on the road, Colby, and they stay alive. They're down there, and so did New England. But we're not talking about that. We're going to talk about the big play. So next one. Yeah, last game, at Seattle versus New England. You know, Seattle seemed to be in sure control of this game when they extended their lead to eight in the second half. But New England came firing back and found themselves down three with five minutes to go. That's when Seattle had a throw in and turned it over in their own territory. New England weren't going to miss that chance to capitalize as Peter Janssen was able to find Peter and score the game winning points of the match. And just another brutal loss for Seattle. They have been so close so many times. Deja vu all over again. But watch next year. They're going to be some angry sea wolves when they're all healthy together. Final thoughts, Colby. You know, where are all my Iona guys? Connor Buckley, Watson Filikatonga, John Powers. I mean, they, I know they're special talents. It's, it's definitely not them. It's these teams. Like, what's going on? They're young guys in ideal situations 
for learning and being better rugby players down the road. They're not just, you know, they're not being thrown into the fire, which is probably a good thing. I know they all want to be thrown into the fire, but they are having very good experiences with some very good teams. So you know, what's to complain about other than your boys not getting in? I like your optimism. I like your optimism. You know, I got my man, Will Burke. I, I want him every day in there for, for Atlanta, but Atlanta's got a great team too. So, you know, he's, he's not behind some slouch on the bench. He's getting playing time here and there, and he's also learning valuable, valuable tools as a prop. So in your face, Iona. Oh, that, that was uncalled for. That was uncalled for. Our boys will have their moment. Our boys will have their moment. And on that note, we're out of time. Colby, I want to thank you for coming in and thank you for this week's martial law, the turning point in every major league rugby match. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. And while you're waiting for next week's martial law, tune into our other segments, including our major league rugby show. Our global rugby recap. What are the odds? Our Major League Rugby Sports Bet Show with the Philly Godfather, John Bradshaw Layfield, the WWE legend, and Gifty Bailu. Martial Law, the Zach Attack. And please sign up for our American Red Cross Rugby Wrap-Up Blood Donor Team. <laughs>